Hi, welcome to Movie Review with Daniel, and today I'll be doing a movie review on Don't Tell a Soul. Don't Tell a Soul is a 2020 American psychological thriller film written and directed by Alex Mark Olley in his directorial debut. This movie was released on the 15th of January 2021. Beware, this movie review contains crises and spoilers. It is hard for actors who specialize in oral or dark dramas to get taken seriously. But then sometimes it is hard for actors who haven't come up in the genre to be seen as oral actors. Ryan Wilson carries the millstone sources of ambitious leaks pitu do it correct in the office around his neck, even though he left a memorable and bloody footprint in the dark world as Bill Oddy, aka roadside attraction fish boy in House of One Thousand cops yes his most memorable role should have been an itinerant killer williams cobley in x x s w 2015 midnight the boy but that film got overshadowed by much scholar freak of the same name from the following year there was a primordial cunning of his performance that no one seems to have tapped since until you don't tell a soul a bleak story of inherited trauma and broken family. As security guard Ambi, he falls into the star star and quite literary. He stumbles across twin brothers, Matt, with Ed, Donkey, and Joe, IT, and Shazam Gaza, as they break into a house that has been tented for fumigation. He sees them making a break with their spoils, but not. The abandoned pit in which he plunks. If they were two regular kids, that would be one thing, but describing their home as dysfunctional would be generous. Their father died, and their mother, Suvari, reaches cough away from leaving the boys orphan in surviving on pain meds and soda. Nas left younger brother Joey at not so tender mercies of Matt, who seems to be or have only entered his father's. Pulling's way and acquired none of the proxy parent ask you as his new role would require. When given the option of getting Ambi out and going to jail himself, is all for leaving this stranger's road. At least Joey has a little bit of conscience and left and sneak him some food and water. In the first film since the seemingly lost Dogme 95 entry to Sparkle Room, Mark Olley has crafted a test bleak drama. It's reminiscent of the portrait of a corrupt male friendship in super dark times, but with the added pressure of kinship and family to describe Don't Tell a Soul as a story of toxic masculinity is both as great, but in a time when everything with a flawed or unpleasant male and protagonist gets that stark, almost give. There's something rancid between the boys. Matt is vile, a mysterious bully with no shred of conscience left yet is joey really a good young man when his response are so stunted to what they are doing it is easy to see how he could well turn out worse than his siblings both young actors understand the weight of this twitter legacy and brutalized circumstances that have led them to where they are as for wilson he fits effortlessly into this equation as a proxy father upon whom Matt can inflicts his own sense of revenge against his listeners and in whom Joey finds something like parental approval. He understands the real man behind the monster, whether he's playing under the skin of a killer or as a victim of an arbitrary universe. That is why his attempt to get through to Joey is simply so much more savageable than the cruel and selfish maths. Give don't tell a soul is bruised at. Thanks for watching today's review. For more interesting videos, please don't forget to like and subscribe.